What's up guys, this is Antoine Good with CNET.com. We're on the floor at the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show taking a look at two very different Audi Quattro concepts. The first behind me is the Sport Quattro, which celebrates 30 years of the Quattro name, which belonged to a historic rally car. As opposed to a bare bones, four wheel drive rally car, we've got a very sophisticated all wheel drive gas electric hybrid. Now you can get about 31 miles of electric only range from this 110 kilowatt electric engine or if you really put your foot down you can take advantage of a full system total of 700 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque by getting that twin turbocharged V8 engine into the mix. That V8 engine also has variable displacement technology so it can also drop down to just four cylinders when you don't need all of the power for cruising about. And all of that's going to be up underneath a uh, very kind of cool looking design. It's got some very muscular shoulders, really big, thick pillars in the back that are meant to evoke the original Ur Quattro. And inside we've got a lot of technology, including a head-up display and a full LED instrument cluster. Of course, Audi's full array of dashboard technology that we see in their current line of vehicles. Now let's take a look at the other Audi Quattro concept, the Nanuk Quattro. Now where the Sport Quattro that we just looked at is very German, this Nanuk Quattro is very Italian. It's actually designed by the Ital Design Company that designed the Ital Design Parkour that we saw at Geneva earlier this year. It's actually got some uh, very flowing curves, a lot of hints in here of what I think the next R8 is going to start looking like, particularly in the sort of headlight and in the smaller sort of side blades that you got on the side. Now not under the hood because this is a mid-engine vehicle, but sitting over the rear wheels you'll find a V10 TDI engine that's going to output well over 700 horsepower and well over 500 pound-feet of torque. So it's actually designed to be as comfortable on-road as it is off-road and as fast in both conditions. So you've got the uh, Quattro all-wheel drive system putting power down to all four corners. You've got an active air suspension that's actually going to allow you to raise and lower the vehicle by about an inch and a half from the static ride height. And that's actually tied to the GPS system. So if you're on the highway, it'll sit lower, but if you turn off onto a gravel road, it'll raise itself automatically. You don't have to do anything there. Now all of that power and torque is going to flow to the wheels by way of a seven-speed automatic, that S-Tronic DSG transmission. Now both of the concepts that we looked at are two-seater coupes. This one's a little bit more crazy. You've got things like the vertically hinged doors. The uh, Audi Sport concept actually only has the regular doors or whatever, but there's two very different ways of looking at where Audi is going to take their Quattro technology in the future. So I'm thinking we're going to be seeing like hints of the Sport Quattro in the next S5 and maybe hints of this Nanuk Quattro in the next Audi R8. Of course, without the variable suspension. I've been Antoine Goodwin on the floor at the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show taking a look at two very different Audi Sport Quattro concepts.